Kling 2.1 just dropped, and creators are saying it destroys Google VO3. But is that hype or hard fact? Let's find out. Today, we're diving deep into the two biggest names in AI video right now, Kling 2.1 and Google VO3. Ever since Kling's latest version hit the scene, creators have been raving that it completely obliterates VO3. But is it really that good? Or is Veo still the undisputed king of lifelike AI video? Stick around. We're about to compare these two side by side and see which one really deserves the crown. Round one, visual quality. Let's start with visuals because honestly, that's what most of us care about first. Kling 2.1 has made massive strides in video generation. The output is super sharp, vibrant, and cinematic, even at 1080p. One of the most impressive things is how it handles fast motion. No weird blurs or stiff frames. You'll notice how realistically elements like hair, clothing, and lighting react to movement. It honestly feels like you're watching something shot with a high-end camera. Now, VO3 isn't lagging far behind. Google's model generates clips with incredible lighting, color grading, and even depth of field. But if you look closely, Kling 2.1's visuals just feel more polished, especially in high action or dynamic scenes. That extra level of detail makes all the difference when you're trying to create something that looks professional. Round two, motion realism. Now let's talk about motion realism. This is where Kling really shows off its muscle. The physics engine in 2.1 is insane. Movements are fluid, natural, and believable. Whether it's a character walking, wind rustling leaves, or a car speeding around a corner, it just feels right. Viotrez still creates smooth motion, don't get me wrong, but in complex or layered scenes, you'll sometimes see stiffness or awkward transitions. That's not a deal breaker, but if you're aiming for smooth, cinematic shots, Kling 2.1 clearly has the edge here. Round three, prompt accuracy and control. Next up, prompt accuracy and control. This is a game changer. Kling 2.1 interprets prompts incredibly well. You give it a detailed description and it nails it down to specific facial expressions, background elements, or character positions. Plus, the new segmented creation workflow lets you tweak each part of your video in stages. Want to adjust the lighting or facial emotion after the first draft? No problem. There's even a master version that guarantees high consistency and tighter control. VO3, on the other hand, is powerful, but a bit looser with prompts. It often adds creative flair that you didn't ask for, which can be cool but also frustrating if you're aiming for precision. Round four, audio and dialogue. Now here's where VO3 hits back hard. Audio and dialogue generation. This is something Kling doesn't currently support. VO can generate ambient sound, voice lines, and even full dialogue scenes. That makes it perfect for storytellers, short film creators, or anyone who needs a complete package, video and audio, without using multiple tools. So if you want to script an entire scene and have AI generate both visuals and sound, VO3 is the better option. Round five, speed, cost, and workflow. In terms of speed and cost, Kling 2.1 is surprisingly efficient. It renders faster, especially when you're working in the standard mode for drafts. Then you can switch to professional mode for final output. It's also more budget-friendly for creators producing high volumes of content. Veo tres, mientras está lleno de características, puede ser más lento y más pesado en recursos. It's a powerhouse, but might be overkill if you're just looking for quick, clean video generation. Bonus round, real-world use cases. Let's talk about real-world use cases. Kling 2.1 is amazing if you're a creator who works with static images, product photos, or short clips that need animation or extension. Its video extension tool lets you lengthen scenes seamlessly while maintaining visual quality. On the flip side, VO3 is perfect for those building short films narrative videos, or immersive scenes with dialogue and background music. If you're creating storytelling content, VO's realism and audio support are unmatched. So does Kling 2.1 really destroy VO3? Visually and technically, yes. Kling delivers sharper visuals, smoother motion, and better prompt accuracy. 
It's built for creators who want total control and a polished final product. But if you're after an all-in-one video and audio tool with deep realism, VO3 is still a strong competitor. It really comes down to your needs. For pure cinematic visuals, Kling wins. For full scene generation, including sound and dialogue, VO's your go-to. That's a wrap on today's showdown. What do you think? Have you tried Kling 2.1 or VO3? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.